Okay, let's talk to you about NetWatcher. We're a managed detection and response company. What does that mean? Well, we're not the antivirus company, but we work with them. We're also not the firewall company or the IPS or the next generation firewall company, but we do work with them. We're the third leg of the stool. We sit and watch the behavior on the internet. We look at what all the employees and all the assets are doing over the internet and determine what nefarious activity might be occurring on the network or on the endpoint. We do a really good job of letting you know when you've been exploited, you know, what malware you have, whether or not it's on a TV, on the border wall, or on a printer, or on a laptop, or even a phone. And what we do a really great job is what we refer to as cyber promiscuity. These are the unintentional insider threats. Most threats that occur in the industry actually occur because somebody on the inside of the network let a bad actor onto the network. And we do a really good job of detecting that and letting you know about it when it happens. And what we do is we have a whole lot of automation that goes on in the cloud sitting on top and looking at this data. But we also have a very good team security analyst in Washington, D.C., looking at your data all day long, looking for other nefarious activity, something that might be new to the environment, something that might be new to the industry. And when they create a rule, everybody benefits from it. Or if when they find something on somebody's network, everybody benefits from it immediately. So we have um, a sensor and uh, it can be either our hardware or a virtual machine. Uh, depends on how you'd like to deploy. That sensor does intrusion detection, net flow analysis. It uh, operates as a SIM and when it finds an anomaly, it sends that anomaly to our cloud service where a really advanced set of correlation goes on. And we also have an endpoint. If you want to load our endpoint, you can do that as well. And we'll talk about that in a second here in uh, when we do the demo. Uh, so let's jump to the demo. So what you see here is this is the NetWatcher dashboard. Uh, and on the dashboard, the two important widgets are the first two you see there. On the left-hand side is the executive dashboard uh, with your cyber health score. This customer's scored a 75 out of 100. That's not too good. We kind of put that in a dirty range. 100 is the highest she can get, zero is the worst she can get. These guys are like in the middle. A 75, it's kind of dirty. Why is that? Well, they've got some low security issues. They've got you know three pieces of low security malware. They've got some hygiene issues, but they have this medium um, issue here that's a security issue. And that's drawn down their score dramatically because, you know, this, this customer may only have a couple hundred assets on the network. So uh, with so few assets, when you do get something that's as significant as this, it really draws down the score. But the cyber health score is meant to tell you all the issues you have to deal with today. With the cyber promiscuity score is how dirty is your network? What is the probability of future attack? So we always give you two things to look at. What do you got to deal with today? And how bad is my network for the future? Am I going to get attacked in the future? And then we have a whole bunch of other widgets you can look at. We look at your score over time. We look at all your assets, all your vulnerable software, all your risky software, all the events over time. This is getting a little more tactical because it's pre-correlation. We also give you a really detailed analytical view if you want to go into it. And then we also can tell you all the countries your people are talking to, inbound and outbound. But beyond that, we'd like to keep people up here at our alarm view. Uh, I'm going to dig into one of these issues or a couple of these issues to show you what they are. The first one is I'll dig into this medium security issue, and you'll see that, oh, it's a Trojan. It's Maldrop. Um, and we tell you everything you need to know about uh, locating the asset on the network. We tell you a little bit about what Maldrop and the Trojan is and our basic recommendation on what to do about it. And then if you see up here, I'm set up as an intermediate profile. That says I'm a little more tactical, so I actually can see, you know, what was correlated from our uh, rules engine in the cloud to determine this was an issue. And this was correlated off of our um, IDS as well. Then down here, you'll see this comment box. What you can do here is actually say how you fix this. Fixed with malware bytes. Now, they are a great tool. We can fix a lot of things. Um, but that is what's auditable from a HIPAA perspective if you have to deal with that type of regulation. Now, if you deal with one of these other things, we'll click on a, a promiscuity um, issue here. We'll come down to one of these 12 issues here. And let's just see what we have. Well, we see we've got some people using clear text passwords on the Internet. That's always bad because somebody's going to hijack the account. 
Uh, we see that we've got some outdated software. And then we see we've got this mobile app exposing data in clear text. That's never good. Somebody's going to sniff that, take advantage of what they can find, and, and the next thing you know, you've been exploited. Well, just like the security rule, uh, we tell you everything you need to know about this, our recommendation what to do about it, and how you what was it correlated on, and you go from there. Um, very easy to see, very easy to do. You can get all the same thing under reports. Uh, you can come create a report. We like to get people to use our situational awareness report and do it weekly. Um, if you want just a typical security report, you can come in here, um, say all the different info you want on the report, get the beginning of the month, get the end of the month, and the report will start building right in front of you here. And um, it's actually running um, a first gen of the report so you can start adding filters to it. You see here that you've got three buttons for it. You can actually run it for real. You can just save the template for later, or you can make it a reoccurring report. Say you want that report sent to you an email once a day, once a week, once a month, whatever you need it to be. And if you want to add filters to it, you can come down here and say you just want alarm type security. You can just do that if you want. And then up here, it'll store it for you under your reports. In, Say you want an audit, you have an auditor coming in, you want to show them all your monthly reports, just give them access to this portal or print these reports out for them. And you can easily download them from here. You also have the ability to put multiple sensors out there uh, and administrate them all from here. Uh, each sensor you can put individual logs to so they can each operate as their own SIM, yet they can all speak to each other and everything be correlated at the very top so you have a view into everything. Uh, and you can also deploy endpoints. Uh, one of the nice things we'll do here is show you that we take that cyber health score and cyber promo score down to the individual endpoint level. Why do we do that? Because most organizations want to know who in the organization is really causing the risk. Those people, we probably want to send them this training. We probably want to lock them down a bit more. We just want to know who they are so we know where our issues are in the organization. If we can fix those issues and reduce our risk there, the whole organization benefits. You also see here, there's a bunch of different modules you can load. Like I was talking about, we've got the HIDS module, we've got the logs module. The HIDS module does file integrity monitoring, process monitoring, it does rootkit checks, logs, takes the log off of the asset. Sensor in the cloud is nice if somebody goes on vacation or uses insecure Wi-Fi, they actually still have a certain level of protection. Um, so it's a, a really nice uh, level of services, and we're constantly adding more and more services here uh, as well. The last thing I'll show you is the ability to get all this just sent to you via email or text message. Uh, you can do that as well. So say you wanted all your mediums and highs sent to you via email and via text message, and you wanted to see them as soon as they occur. You could easily do that. What if you just wanted that widget that uh, – was your executive dashboard widget sent to you once a day. You could do that. And then you'd never even have to log into this portal. You can just send it to you um, and, and you, you know, basically administrate your security posture over email. So that's all I'm going to show you now. I uh, look forward to having you on as a customer. Talk to you soon.